All right, there it is. 100%. Sort of. We got a couple upgrades to do. Some outfits to buy. And a basement to check out, of all things. So, let's start from the very left. Except for SpongeBob. We'll, we'll do him first. All right, let's purchase the prehistoric SpongeBob outfit. Purchased. Danny Phantom. We got Evil Danny. Purchase. Patrick. We got Barnacle Boy. Patrick. Followed by Plant Girl Sam. Cowboy Timmy. Secret Agent Jimmy. Chicken Suit Tack. Flame Decal Jenny. That actually sounds really awesome. Kilted Yaxman Stimpy. Dog Disguise Gur. And Pilgrim Rocco. Alright, there we go. We got all the outfits. We got some upgrades to do. We'll just go to Professor's Lair. Mech suit number two. Mech suit number two. Mech suit number two. <laughs> uh, does Jimmy not go to mech suit number two? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, because he's not like the 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 three main, I guess. Alright, well let's go show those off in Factory Zone 1. I suppose.
All right, so let's go to the factory basement. We got the master model collection. We got the awards, movies, art galleries, and the cheats. Yeah, we got cheats. All right, let's check out the master model collection. Angelica from Rugrats. Crumb from Ah, Red Monsters. Arnold from Hey Arnold. Daggett Doofus Beaver from the Angry Beavers. Cat Dog from Cat Dog. Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. SpongeBob SquarePants from SpongeBob SquarePants. Auto Rocket from Rocket Power. Ginger Foley from As Told by Ginger. Rudy Tabuti from Chalk Zone. Tommy Pickles, all grown up. Danny Fenton from Danny Phantom. Aang from Avatar The Legend of Aang. Why did they use the European name? It literally even says in the opening credits of this game, Avatar The Last, okay. Mr. Blick from Cat Scratch. Tuesday X from The X's. El Tigre from El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivera. Otis from Back at the Barnyard. Tack from Tack and the Power of Juju. Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. XJ9, also known as Jenny, from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Gurr from Invader Zim. Jimmy Neutron from The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. Jimmy Turner from the Fairly Odd Parents. And that's it. We got awards. Alright, so finishing the game. Uh, we get the biggest genius. Wallaby Warrior, you found Rocco the Wallaby. Kitty Champion, you found Stimpy. Robot Reveller, you found Gurr. Robot Ranger, you found Jenny slash XJ9. Gobber, you played as Rocco the Wallaby. Idiot, you played as Stimpy. Invader, you played as Gurr. Teenager, you played as Jenny slash XJ9. Team Up Legends 1, play as Bikini Bottom's finest. Still need to do. Team Up Legends 2, play as Amity Park's closest friends. Have I not actually done those? Oh, okay, anyway. Power Hour Player, you played as Jimmy and Timmy. Girls just want to kick butt. Play as N the Nicktoons Girl Heroes. I'm going to assume that is Sam and Jenny. Bear Buster. You destroyed more than 100 Mr. Huggles. Wheeler Dealer. You destroyed more than 30 wheelies. Top Tipper. You destroyed more... Destroy more spinny tops. Oh, okay. Blockbuster. Destroy more blocks. Ballerina Buster. Destroy more bust up ballerinas. Butt Buster, you destroyed more than 50 factory bots. Bunny Buster, you destroyed more than 40 stun bunnies. Can Opener, you destroyed more than 20 tin robots. Spring Stopper, destroy more springy rabbits. Tin Opener, you destroyed more than 30 big tin robots. Honorary Fairy, second class. You rescued all 500 fairies. Circuit Breaker, you collected more than 5,000 circuits. Chatbots Collector, you collected all the master models. Nicktoon Superfan, unlock everything in the game. Cheater, use a non-costume cheat code. So, let's, we got movies, what do we got in here? It's literally just all the ones from the game, okay. What do we got for art? All right, now I will look at that after we do everything else. Oh, here's some cheats we got. All right, so we got invulnerability, damage boost, play as Mr. Huggles, play as Exo Huggles 3000, permanent scatterdo, permanent goo spitter, permanent goo lobber. So what was it? It was a non costume cheat code. Right? Why are you saving? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay.
Oh, I guess to apply the cheats and stuff. Okay. Uh, so it was... Use a non-costume cheat code, so that's none of the Mr. Huggles stuff. So we'll do like everything else. <laughs> and then we gotta just destroy a bunch of things. Okay. And Bikini Bottom's finest, one of them, Patrick. County Park's closest friends, Danny and Sam. And then Sam and Jenny. Alright, cool. So... Might as well do these all in the same spot. Didn't mean to hit that. All right, let's go. Cheats. And let's go do some stuff. So we'll go invulnerability. Why not? Damage boost. Permanent, permanent. Oh, you can only choose one of them. Let's go... Lobber. Sure. All right, so I will meet you back. Especially since I need to find out where I can get all those. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're doing some post commentary here just to make it a little bit easier. The best spot that I found for bust up ballerinas is the ice rink area in factory zone three, entrance number two. Just make your way through all the obstacles, jumping on all the flowers and avoiding all of these lasers, and at the very end will be a giant horde of Busta Ballerinas. Now the good thing is, the enemies do respawn, so once you've cleaned out the area, you can just jump onto the spikes or off the edge, and repeat it as many times as you need. And there we have it, so if we head to awards, there we go, Ballerina Buster, we destroyed 20 bust up ballerinas. Alright, next up we're heading into Factory Zone 1, entry point number 2. While we're here, we can actually grab both the blocks and spinning top enemies. They're both at the very beginning, it's very simple, very easy. Unfortunately, it's also very time consuming. But the way the checkpoints work, if you want to grind the spinning tops, you'll have to exit out of the level and go back in every time you run out. But the good news is, with the blocks, similar to the bust up ballerinas, when you run out you can just jump off the edge and they will respawn. Alright, so when we get onto the spinning ring here just after Danny's master model entrance, we'll get our first two spinning tops. Like I mentioned previously, these do not respawn, so when you run out, you'll either have to exit the level or just continue on and grab a couple more. And once you take out the first spinning top, the second one will spawn. And then when you get to this conveyor belt section, you will find another three spinning tops. And that's actually it for the area, so when you get those out of the way, exit out and restart. And last but not least, we gotta get the springy rabbits. They are only found in Factory Zone 3 entrance number one. We're about to go back into live commentary and... Yeah, you'll understand my frustration. <laughs> okay. I'm an hour into this. Trying to find... a springy rabbit. And I looked everywhere... except... Right. 
Zone three. Entrance one. And guess where they are. Zone three. Entrance one. So, we're gonna go get them. Right there. Nice. Now, I don't know if there's more. So, let's find out. And then, all we have left after this is the spinning tops. Those are very easy to get. Very slow, but very easy. So. We'll get those. And then be done. I will showcase all the artwork. be on our way. This is much faster. I'll just do it this way. Okay. I will do two more sets. I'm going to assume it wants 20. So... This should be enough. Let's check. There we go. So all that's left are the spinny tops. I just want to make sure that there aren't any other types of tops. Okay. Let's go and get those. There we go. Nicktoon Superfan, you unlocked everything. So, let's check out some art. And that is what I'll leave you with. So thank you guys so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that took a lot out of me. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys then.